Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about something I have been paying more attention to with my products. I started being careful when I went natural about the ingredients that are in my product when I pick up a bottle. And now one thing I have been kind of overlooking, not all the way, is the alcohol that's in my products. So when you buy any type of hair product, you'll know this, it'll say some type of name, alcohol. One thing I started realizing is that you have your good alcohol versus your bad alcohol in products. Now, when I say good versus bad is um, what that alcohol do to not only your product, but your hair. Now these lists I'm going to give you guys, they're not set in stone, of course. There are a range of good and bad alcohol out there, I'm pretty sure. These are the few that I have found and I started looking more into um, because I have products that have them in there, so I wanted to figure out what's going on with them. Now, let's start with the bad and get that over with. The list of bad alcohol are these guys right here. So starting with like ethanol, this list over here is the list of the few bad alcohol that I have found in my products. So these are basically from what I pull up, they're short chain alcohol and they do two things to your hair that I don't want any part of. They, um, the first thing is they um, dry out your hair. So if you've ever used a product after you've used it, you feel your hair is extremely drying. Sometimes I've bought a couple of products where after I wash my hair, I'm like, whoa, my hair is dry, it's breaking, it's not manageable. I have to go treat it again. If you've ever bought a product like that, it's most likely it has one of those bad alcohol in there that's what's drying out your hair and making it look dingy, frizzy, and just not looking good at all and the second thing it does is it evaporates your product so i don't want to buy a product and because i didn't use it for two weeks it's gone because the bad alcohol is drying it out or it's evaporating and even if you're using something like a deep conditioner if you put it in your hair it'll most likely evaporate before it actually does anything for your hair if you use any product that has these bad alcohol in there highly suggest you um go and review them if they are not hurting your hair of course you can always use a product that's going that's working with your hair by all means continue you to use it now my second list is we're gonna move on to the good alcohol which i've noticed i found in so many of my products so i'm gonna show you guys a list right over here not try to pronounce all these so i'm gonna put the list up for here for you guys to see the good alcohol. Now these alcohol, they're derived from natural sources, so they're fine to use in your hair. They're fine to put in your product, so when you see them in your product, don't worry. Now I wanted to show you guys two of my products that I've been using. This conditioner is um, halfway, I still have it, but this I've, I've finished using. Now I started using this Aussie a little bit ago, and I like their conditioner. It feels nice in my hair, it treats it, and I usually like it a lot. I, I use the 7 in 1 and I started using the Mega Moist. And my hair is not a big deal in my hair. And it does have good alcohol in there. It has two good alcohol in there. And the only thing with this, it has a few products that do coat your hair. So I do notice that. But this does not hurt my hair. It actually conditioned it pretty well. So as I mentioned on the list of these products, I probably will not be buying any more of this after I get done with this bottle. But this product has not been bad to my hair at all, I must say. Now, the second product I used was the Garnier Fructis. Now, this is Damage Eraser. Now, this product, I do like it. I've used it for a little bit. And the only thing I noticed is I stopped using it because it has mineral oil in there. And mineral oil is just not good for my hair. It has, it dries it out, I noticed. And even though it feels nice washing my hair after I am done, like I mentioned, washing that hair, it does um doesn't do so well after that so i have stopped using this i haven't used this in a few months now so i just wanted to show you guys the bottle it has good and bad alcohol in there so i'm guessing that's the whole play of why it's not working too well for my hair now if you're using products that has good alcohol in there one thing it does is it draws moisture to your hair so this is what you want you want to moisturize your hair now i have two conditioners here um now this is a biotin b complex therapy conditioner i love this product I, my hair feels so nice whenever i wash it with it 
I leave it in there or I'll do a deep treatment. If you guys seen on my channel, I have a couple of deep treatments. One of them, I use this guy and it feels great. The good alcohol is drawing that moisture in and it's helping to keep it and lock it in there. Now my second product is this Intense Hydrating Hair Mask. This is from Shea Moisture, Manuka Honey and Manuel Oil. You guys see my review on this? I love it because of how thick it is. And another thing um, good alcohol do for your product is it thickens it up. So if you have dry hair or you just want a heavy product to really treat your hair, the good alcohol they do that to your product it's a good thing they're actually adding thickness to it so when you have dry hair or you need hair any extra treatment like me you buy a product that has good alcohol in it and that product will be most likely thicker if you guys see how thick this is it's not falling over it will keep that product thick it will go and treat your hair and your hair will feel amazing when you use it another great benefit to good alcohol is they add slip to your hair i love when i use a product that keeps my hair just soft manageable and i don't have to fight it to <laughs> braid it after i'm done washing it so adding slip to your product is one of the great things that good alcohol do which again i noticed looking at these guys i pulled them out this is the true and the giovanni leave-in conditioner i noticed how soft my hair feel when i put them in and one of the best thing about them is that they add so much slip to my hair they're so soft after i wash it i put it in there it's so easy to braid my hair and put it away after i'm done with that and that's the benefits of the good alcohol again adding that slip to your hair so that's what i wanted to show you guys today is the list of good and bad alcohol that I found and I love them so far. I'm excited to go through my product box and look and make sure I'm using great products that's going to benefit my hair. And if you guys have any more lists of good or bad alcohol you guys have found that are not on my list, please comment down below, mention them, help us out and let us know some of these good and bad alcohol you found on your product and tell us a few products that work great for your hair and actually help you grow healthier hair. That's it today guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Go over and watch my last video.